Hey crafty friends, welcome back to DIYs with Sonia. Today we're taking a break from crafting and tackling a project that many of us put off for way too long, a complete craft room declutter and organization. If you're like me, you'll probably accumulate a lot of craft supplies over time and it's time to bring order to the chaos. As you can see, my craft room has seen better days. It's a bit overwhelming and embarrassing, to say the least, to find myself in this predicament again, but I'm determined to turn this space into a heaven of creativity. Before we go get started, I just want to say that this video isn't part of a collaboration with my best friend here on YouTube and personal life, Sandra from DIYs at Schwoman's Nest. Sandra and I used to be neighbors and now live just a few streets over from each other and she over the years had taught me so many things from motherhood to crafting and it is so uh, great that we get to do this YouTubing thing together. Make sure you check out Sandra's craft room declutter video as well as all her amazing DIY creations on her channel. I will leave the link to her channel and her video down below. The first step to declutter, I'm going to go through each shelf and storage container, sorting items into keep, donate, and toss piles. It can be tough parting with some things, but trust me, a clutter-free space is more inspiring space. I've set up a donation box for items that are still in good condition, but no longer serve me. It feels great knowing that someone else might find joy in these materials. As crafters, we accumulate things and we feel that we need everything at some point. So keep, we keep things like lids, jars, fancy string, and so on. On top of it all, I like to redecorate my home for all the different seasons so I have an abundance of decor on hand. And all of this stuff was kind of messing with my head a little. Also, I needed to make space for overflow of toys here as well for my daycare. If you have been here for a while, you know I did daycare for many years and this craft room was used to used for toy storage. I no longer wish to have that many toys and I did probably have enough for several home daycares. However, I do want to have few things on hand to swap out and keep things interesting for the kids. So over on these shelves I do keep some of my overflow of decor, just extra vases, signs, couple um, pieces for seasonal decor. So I wanted to kind of go through it and just uh, donate some of the items that I no longer use, um, that are no longer part of the style that I'm going with. And I just love being able to pass this along to someone who might uh, enjoy them for extra long time instead of just tossing them out. Now some of the items, if they are DIYs, I do assess them and see if I can remake them um, and use them as crafting supplies. But I have found that more often than not, I don't end up redoing them. I, they just end up sitting in a bin for, you know, six months months or whatnot and uh, I'm really trying to kind of go through um, you know hold the piece reassess it uh, see if I've used it in six months if not um, even in these crafting bins I kind of went through some of the items and just tried to figure out you know 
how long have I had it in this bin and if it's not uh, if I'm not um, using it for crafting I'm just going to donate it if it's donatable uh, if not I will just toss it I did end up um, putting out three garbage bags full of garbage once I was finished doing these bins I do have labels on all these bins just saying like wood supplies glass supplies um, floral supplies just things like that just to kind of keep things organized a bit Now that we've decluttered the surfaces, it's time to tackle the floor. I want to be able to see the floor again. Sweeping, vacuuming, and maybe even a little mop action. Let's make this space shine. A clean floor not only looks better, but also gives us clear canvas to work on. Plus, it's a lot more enjoyable to move around without tripping over supplies. With a clean slate, it's time to organize. I'm going to arrange my supplies in a way that makes sense for my creative process. Whether it's by color, type, or frequency of use, finding a system that works for you is the key. And now I have all these extra bins that I can use for organizing. Over on this side, I have all of my decorative pillows and I've been just kind of tossing them onto the shelf that's over here beside the little pantry and I needed to put them all back into their suction bags. Now these suction bags are from Dollarama and they're not the greatest but they will keep uh, keep sucked in until I place them on a shelf and kind of wedge them in there and then if they expand they expand it is what it is but that way I can at least fit all the pillows in it in them and also fit them onto the shelves
so as you saw before and you can see it now as well i had moved the desk back to what it where it used to be i thought i wanted it more so i can have the view of the entrance to the room but it really wasn't working and i felt a little claustrophobic in there so this is a little bit better in my opinion the way it's set up and i am right underneath the light as well which helps i do have that big spotlight uh, to point at the crafts while I'm making them but um, having having extra lighting is always better and that way I can also record a face uh, to face kind of camera put my face on the camera in this room because the backdrop is a little bit nicer than the messy backdrop that the other area was in so I'm just going to continue um, just decluttering the desk now and then I'm going to finish it off with sweeping and then I'm going to have a complete reveal which I think it uh, turned out fabulous to where it was you know we I always see these really nice and fancy craft rooms and everything matches and everything is just perfect and you know one day maybe that's what I'll have but my craft room is collection of um, shelves that no were from my children's bedrooms or from um, other areas of the home that we no longer use and I don't want to just toss them I want to reuse them if I can they don't necessarily match so painting them the same color probably wouldn't help but it is functional to an extent and it serves its purpose and i just at this time i'm not in a position to go out and spend all sorts of money so i can have a nice looking craft room maybe one day it's goals for sure but not at this time uh, doesn't that look so much better? I can already feel the creative energy flowing in this reorganized space. Now here is all the stuff that's going out for donation. So here it is all finished and I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour. So over here on the left side I have all of my pillows like I mentioned and then turning into the craft room I have some of my wreaths here and I also have more uh, in, the, uh, in the other area. And then this first shelf the top is for all of my um, uh, just wood signs, wood bins and then the rest of it is toys and then the shelf uh, then on the floor i just have a little extra greenery that i'm using on regular basis couple bigger bigger signs some recording equipment and then on these shelves i keep the overflow of the core so i did pare it down quite a bit because i did have it on both of the um, on these two shelves as well as the white shelf so I did take some of it off and now I'm using it obviously for uh, the toy storage then I also do have some odds and ends here like um, like I said I have some curtain rods and some uh, camera equipment and some lighting equipment out in that corner there's also some floating shelves that were taken down from my playroom where it used to be they're still there I just don't want to part those because they're useful to have and maybe I if my kids will need them in their rooms or whatnot I just didn't want to get rid of them and then all my other spare bins are stored there because you never know when you might need a bin and then this pink bin is just stuff that came from my husband's office i have to go sort through it i think it's items that used to be in my big um buffet that i had in my dining room and i no longer have that and that's just been sitting in my husband's office now for almost a year so i just want to make sure there's nothing important in there because Otherwise, I will just donate all the glasses that are in there because we have not used them in a year and I haven't missed them. Then uh, on the desk is how it is. I should get a steamer, one of those little handheld steamers just to get it cleaned really well. I know those things r worked really well on all the tables at a daycare whenever I would use uh, clean off the paints and glues and all that stuff. 
so I'm thinking it might work here I hope it I think it should work but I'm not 100% sure so I still have to kind of go through all of my brushes and cutting supplies which is the shelf right there but other than that everything is kind of need it's crafting need organized if you know what I mean I have it sorted by the type of materials that um that they are um, I used to do it by seasons I no longer do it that way because I am kind of shifting gears a little bit with the, my DIY channel and the way I want to do things so I no longer re really need to do it seasonally. I'm still planning on doing seasonal decor DIYs, but just not the way I used to. I also have some um, scrapbooking supplies here as well. Um, and um, there's some more scrapbooking supplies on the, on the cubed shelf. And on top, uh, that's where a lot of my seasonal decor is and fabric. So I have Christmas kind of taking up that part. And then I have fall in the other one. Then I have all of my chalk paint and my stains on top, crafting supplies underneath, um, future like upcoming crafts are in those bins there. And then I just have ribbons, sewing supplies, and like I said, crafting supplies that are coming up. And then I have just some storage bins with odds and ends. I've got some overflow of planners in here, more cables and things for recording. And then I also have my sander here. <laughs> just like I said, odds and ends in all of these bins. And then I have a little cubed... Uh, storage with wicker the little wicker drawers and and this uh, plastic cube storage so top has all of my bins uh, like painting um, sorry painting cups and then I have my heating tools and then just odds and ends then in these I have glue adhesive I have paint and then I have spray paint in here and then in this little pantry, I'm going to keep this for daycare paints and daycare supplies. And then I also have all of my scrapbooking stamps here as well. Thanks for joining me on this craft room transformation journey. It's amazing what a little decluttering, cleaning and reorganizing can do. Don't forget to check out Sandra's channel, which will be linked down below, as well as her video. And if you're, and also let her know that I've sent you. And if you're stopping by from Sandra's channel, welcome. And if you found, got, guys found this video helpful or inspiring, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more creative content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.